one key constituent found within spinach may actually have psychoactive anxiolytic and antidepressant properties in the brain. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas and I am the founder of Ergogenic Health. And if you guys really want to devour very cutting edge health information, then I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button below as I'll be releasing some very, very useful health information soon. So anyway, back to spinach. So what I'm going to do is I'll share my screen and show you some of the cool research papers that I found looking at this key constituent called rubiscolin and how it actually may possess strong anxiolytic and uh, psychoactive effects in the brain. So first study is looking at uh, basically how this is a constituent that's found within uh, spinach and it's an, a delta opioid peptide that has anxiolytic effects via activating sigma-1 and dopamine D1 receptors. So it's quite complex, but basically uh, sigma-1 receptors, a lot of the uh, pharma grade antidepressants work on this sigma-1 receptor uh, because it, it obviously influences our our mood and addiction and things like that. And then the D1 receptors is one of the receptors that a lot of other herbs actually work on. Um, a lot of other psychoactive herbs and substances work on. So that's really f fascinating that, you know, we've got a constituent that's found within spinach, a particular peptide that's found from spinach uh, that can basically influence the brain. So this is really, really fascinating. Um, so you can see the, Basically, the, there's different types of these rubiscolins, um, but the key one is rubiscolin 6. This one's the one that has most of the research. Um, and what they found was that uh, rubiscolins were found to exhibit high affinity and selectivity for the delta opioid receptor. Keep in mind, guys, there's three types of opioid receptors, the mu, kappa, sorry, mu, kappa, and delta opioid receptors. Um, the delta opioid receptors play a, a, a key role in um, sensory, sensory pain perception, things like that. Um, so interestingly, this same uh, peptide, rubiscolin 6, possessed orexigenic, which is the opposite of anorexic. So it stimulates feeding behaviors. It has anxiolytic-like and memory-enhancing activities in mice when administered orally. That's really important to note. Um, they also noted that uh, naturally occurring substances such as these rubiscolins may provide a rational and powerful approach in the design of new therapeutic functional foods. Uh, this next study looks at how rubiscolin can affect uh, memory consolidation. Um, they can see that it worked to improve memory performance via acting on this delta opioid receptor. Uh, this one is looking at outside the brain. This is looking at how rubiscolin 6 can uh, actually activate glucose uptake in skeletal muscle, which is really important for athletic performance and blood sugar control. Uh, this study looks at how rubiscolin 6 can stimulate food intake. Um, via a different pathway, which is very, very fascinating. Um, so guys, keep a lookout for Rubiscolin 6. It wouldn't surprise me if there are some supplements that come out with this particular ingredient. Um, and guys, you know, I like to share very novel and really cool uh, new supplements and, and products and nootropics. So definitely check out the links in my video description. I've got a website, which I stock some very, very, uh, powerful uh, nootropics and supplements that can very much influence the way you think, feel, and perform. So also check out the nootropics course that I've built. It looks at very underground compounds like this to um, support peak mental and physical performance. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.